Hello and welcome. In this video, I will talk about the generations of computer and you are going to know the different generations and their features. So let's start. Actually, generation of computer refers to the development of computers during different time interval or different time phases and that particular time phase is called the generation of computer. There are total five generations of computer first generation second generation third generation fourth generation and fifth generation okay now let me tell you about the first generation features the duration of first generation is 1946 to 1959 so the computers developed between 1946 to 1959 are called the first generation computers the first generation computer uses vacuum tube as their major electronic component. So the main electronic device at that time was the vacuum tube. The size of the first generation computer were very big. They are big enough to cover a whole room. And the performance of the first generation computer was very slow. They could not do uh, calculations or perform calculations with great speed their storage capacity is also very low they uses the machine level programming language some examples of first generation computer are ENIAC EDVAC UNIVAC IBM 701 and IBM 650 so these computers are the examples of the first generation computer they were very costly as their size was big and because of that they generated a lot of heat as well the input and output devices of the first generation computer were very slow and because the size was very big they consumed more electricity okay let me tell you about the second generation computer the second generation computer duration was 1959 to 1965 the major electronic component of second generation computer was transistor so in second generation computer transistor was used as the major electronic component the size of the second generation computer was comparatively smaller than the first generation computer the performance was improved or we can say better than the first generation computer they uses machine level as well as assembly level programming languages some examples of second generation computer are IBM 1620 IBM 7094, CDC 16404, CDC 3600, UNIVAC 1108. So these are the example of second generation computers. Second generation computers generated less heat as compared to the first generation computers. They consumed less electricity than the first generation computers. Similarly, they were faster than the previous generation that is the first generation computer and they were also very costly like the first generation computers in the same way let me tell you about the third generation features the duration of third generation was 1965 to 1971 third generation computers use uh, IC integrated circuit chips as their major electronic component their size was comparatively smaller than the first and the second generation computers. Performance was better than the first and second generation computers. Some example computers of the third generation are IBM 360, Honeywell 6000 series, PDP that is personal data processor, IBM 370 or 168, TDC 316. These are the examples of third generation computers. Third generation computers uses high level programming languages and they generated less heat as compared to first and second generation computer because the size was reduced. They were faster and it required less maintenance because the size was reduced. They consumed less electricity and the performance was also better than the first and second generation computer 
okay let's see the features of fourth generation computer the duration is 1971 to the current time or we can say the present time the major electronic component of this generation computer is microprocessor the size of this generation computer is very very small as compared to other generations the performance is also very good they can perform with great speed their storage capacity is also very high they can store huge amount of data the example computers are the laptop desktop cray one that is the supercomputer cray xmp that is also the supercomputer deck 10 star thousand these are some of the examples of fourth generation computers the programming languages that the fourth generation computer use is the high level programming language these generation computers are cheaper as compared to other generation computers they are portable and reliable and easy to use as well they were very very fast and the concept of internet was also introduced in this generation finally let me tell you about the fifth generation computers the duration of this generation computer is present and the future so the computers that are available right now and that will be present or developed in the future are the fifth generation computers the major electronic component of this generation computer is biochip or ulsi technology ultra large scale integration technology the size of this generation is very small performance was super fast they can process billions of instructions within a second the capacity of this generation computer is extremely high they can store large volume of data they uses high level programming languages some examples of this generation computer are laptop desktop notebook ultrabook chromebook and tablet and so on so these are the some examples of fifth generation computers these computers will be based on artificial intelligence technology uh, for example the robots or AI based robots are available in this generation computer the development of natural language processing these uh, generation computers can process natural languages they can understand our languages too and they will be more user friendly with multimedia features the present computers and the future computers will also be very user friendly and they will provide multimedia interfaces for the convenient of the user these generation computers are available with cheaper cost as compared to other generations and in future they will be more powerful more cheaper and more developed so these are some of the important features of fifth generation computers finally we have completed all the generations discussion i hope you have understood and you have learned some informations from this video i'll be back with another video till then bye bye see you again